So now that we got the drive shaft out, we just pull the slip yoke out and put it back in, make sure to make the mark. If you're balanced right, and I'm not, so don't worry about that. Just take uh, something small, put it in a vice grip or something like that so you don't tear up your hands, and you just go put it on in here, and you beat it until you pop the cap out on this or side. Or you might have a slight issue with the weld, which is what one of these things are good for. Once you get it through, this cap will usually sometimes stay on if it's greased nicely. And then just fell off. And you just take that off. And you, then you take this and beat it back up to the other side by turning it around. And then you just pull that cap off. And see this one's pretty bad. This was the yeah, this was the welded side. It's all cracked. Cracked right down the side. Not the best of condition that's what they're. here there's grooving that's a sign that the uh, the needle bearings are just not moving how they should and they're grinding right in and that's a sign of a failed U joint it's happening on that side too although this side and this side are pretty good pretty dirty but uh, I didn't even find bearings in this this one and I don't think I found bearings in that one either. This one here, they were all crunched up. Another thing to watch out for since you're driving this yoke around, that you clean it off before you pat it back in. Get a lot of dirt on it, and, and it's definitely not good for your transmission or transfer case, whatever you got right there. Why? Won't get very far like this. And you take your slip yoke out there, make sure that your filler is mine. Make sure that it's not above that. I should let stuff pour it out. I only got a little bit there, so all's good. And you see, I've had to grind the weld off to get it out. So I put a tarp over my gas tank since it leaks, so I don't go up in flames, because that wouldn't be fun.